watching Republic and I'm Deepti Sajdeva and ladies and gentlemen, we will shine our spotlight on this edition of the news on a big significant diplomatic row right now that continues between New Delhi and Mali. Now, just about a few days ago, the Prime Minister was in Lakshwadeep. He shared some fantastic and beautiful pictures of him relaxing and trying to portray the entire factor of why Lakshwadeep could be an equally significant tourism destination. But in his tweets, he did not mention anything about Maldives. But then there were a few ministers in the Maldivian government who reacted to that, who used certain disparaging words and language against the prime minister. And the blowback has been very, very significant. We deep dive into that story, getting your reactions on that in just a moment. The headlines first up. The AIUDF chief, Fear Mongers, he's asking Muslims not to travel during the Ram Temple consecration ceremony. Two days after the attack on the ED team, the TMC now says incidents like these are not a new thing. The BJP hits back. The Maldivian minister who insulted the prime minister has now been suspended, sparking a huge outrage in India. The government of Maldives has already distanced itself. The Maldivian government suspends Minister Mariam Shuina, Malsha and Hassan Zehan over the derogatory remarks made against the prime minister. And Prime Minister Hasina is likely to win a fourth straight term as Bangladesh votes amid strike and arson. So people say what's in a picture and a lot can be said and done through a picture. And I think that's exactly how the story vis a -vis the Prime Minister's trip to Lakshwadeep, the pictures of him relaxing at that pristine beaches and the kind of blowback that we have seen from Maldives, many would say was not unexpected. Right now, remember, there is a hostile government, like many would say in Maldives, because the current incumbent again has his pro-China, pro-Pakistani tilt. But does that even explain the kind of language, very, very disparaging and completely unwanted, that was used against the prime minister in particular? This is just one of that image, a part of that video that the prime minister himself shared on his social media handle. And the idea was to ensure that there is more tourism, there is more footfall in Lakshmi The Prime Minister, while he was sharing these pictures, remember, not even once, not even once he mentioned Maldives. Then why did you have a series of these ministers, about three important representatives from the Maldivian government responding to those pictures? And what makes matters worse is the kind of language that they actually used against him. New Delhi has taken a strong objection to this. There has been a lot of pushback, particularly also on the social media. A lot of celebrities have also spoken up against this kind of a hateful language. The Indian High Commission also swings into action. And now we are learning the Maldivian government first is trying to distance itself from these comments. And now there have been suspensions. Three of these members have now been suspended by the Maldivian government with the question we are asking, is this good enough? And when it comes to diplomatic ties between New Delhi and Mali, Mali, remember, largely dependent on New Delhi for a lot of its tourism that continues to boost its economy. Can something like this be even tolerated? Let's quickly make way first up to reactions coming in. अभी भी प्रधानमंत्री जी भी लक्षद्वीप विजिट किया है आने वाले दिन में लक्षद्वीप में टूरिज्म का बहुत बड़ा डिस्टिनेशन होगा एक ही मुद्दा है ठीक तरीके से एयरपोर्ट हो उसके लिए भी भारत सरकार अच्छे उधर एयरपोर्ट के लिए बहुत प्रयास करे और अभी लक्षद्वीप भारत में एक ऐसा डिस्टिनेशन है कोई भी भारत के लोग ना न्यूजीलैंड जाने का जरूरत नहीं है ना स्विट्जरलैंड जाने का जरूरत नहीं है वो लक्षद्वीप आ सकते तो सब कुछ आप लक्षद्वीप में देखेगा
It is surprising, even shocking to note that Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, who has had such a wonderful visit to Lakshmi, which has led to a lot of enthusiasm in the country among so many crores of people that they also want to go to Lakshmi, is being criticised by some political persons. One is amazed at what level can a political thought go, or political people can stoop to in their attempt to criticise Narendra Modi ji for anything and everything. There can be no occasion for criticism of the Prime Minister's visit to Lakshmi. In fact, he has been consistently speaking about increasing tourism in India, that we should be vocal about local. मेरे ख्याल से हम मालदीव को कर सकता है ठीक है हमारा मिलिट्री हेलीकॉप्टर्स वापस आएंगे लेकिन हमारा प्राइवेट कंपनी हेलीकॉप्टर्स देंगे है ना इसलिए हमारा प्रेजेंस उधर होगा अगर हम जल्दी कल हमारे हेलीकॉप्टर्स विड्रॉ कर सक है तो आप एक फॉरेन टूरिस्ट है आप उधर जाएंगे क्योंकि आपको पता नहीं मेडिकल इमरजेंसी हेल्प नहीं है अब जाएगा नहीं तो मॉलडीव का टूरिज्म नीचे जाएगा है ना तो ऐसे थोड़ा डिप्लोमेटिकली करना चाहिए So you've heard just a few of those reactions and if you just go to the social media right now also, ladies and gentlemen, you will see this entire issue trending right now. A lot of you have been speaking about it. This is an issue that connects almost everyone because no matter what, what justifies people in the government in a country like Maldives that is largely dependent on India, particularly for its economy because tourism is a main thrust. to use such a derogatory and disparaging language against the prime minister that is what everyone says and uh, you can in fact also send us your views and thoughts on the entire issue on republicworld.com we'll be taking your views and perspective live also for this moment uh, i want to say good evening uh, to robinder sachdev ji who's a global strategist and uh, he's joining us right now also on this edition of the news as a citizen robinder ji sir good evening and thank you for speaking to us on republic forgetting the fact that you are a global strategist you know speaking as a citizen speaking as a citizen of india when you look at the picture sir that the prime minister had put out i mean what is it that these ministers took offense to when the prime minister did not even mention the word maldives at all in his post thank you so much deepthi ji uh, thank you for having me no absolutely yes you know prime minister modi is doing and was doing what a leader should be doing you know promoting your own uh, mm. country's assets leveraging them and the target for this was the domestic audience and maybe the international audience also why not this is not a zero sum game as the maldives ministers by the way my reading would be that i would say that these ministers absolutely you know their remarks are to be condemned but maybe you know they're rookies they're newbies and what the maldives government has done now by kind of you know uh, asking them to resign i think is a good and a mature step which a responsible government should do and take now as far as lakshwadeep is concerned absolutely why will we not promote our own destinations and economies of that particular region be it anywhere i mean in the north east arunachal varanasi you you name anywhere i mean udaipur etc why would not india be promoting its own destination and given the fact that the prime minister is a charismatic person and such smart visuals really do help so that's absolutely the kosher thing for the leader to do now what maldives is doing or one particular segment of the politicians in maldives i think they're still flush with their sense of victory and being newbies they've been making such statements which are absolutely incorrect and as you mentioned very rightly for maldives india is not only a you know partner and we contribute to their economy we are tourism we are also a helper of the first resort for any kind of disasters or you know dangers they face remember the coup back in 88 when there was a coup in maldives india sent its forces to help out uh, the the government of at that time water shortages in Maldives in Mali in 2014. You know, it's surprising. It's an oxymoron. Island nations has some of the world's biggest problems of drinking water. There's water, water everywhere, but it's not. It's saline water. India sent our naval ships and air cargo planes with bottled mm -hmm. water during COVID. Also, we aided them. 
we are building or contributing to their infrastructure of 500 million dollar dollar you know project of the greater uh, male region and if god forbid any you know disaster like a tsunami or whatever strikes who is the nearest one to you that is india who can come to your aid so this is immature rookie statements yes. absolutely to be condemned hmm Yes, and you know, Robinder Ji, there are multiple reactions that have come in uh, from people who matter. From you know, a lot of citizens who are also voicing their concerns. Before I also get an Anil Trigunia Ji, who is a former diplomat, I want to ask you a quick question. Uh, you know, Robinder Ji, the point is that today the Maldivian government is wanting to distance itself from the comments. It is saying that you know this is not how the government thinks. This is definitely not how the government responds. But then, can you have sitting ministers? talking like this you know writing like this on social media or or they believe that they can act with impunity because uh you know this is a deep seated sentiment against new delhi because you've seen a regime change a regime that is more inclined towards beijing and uh, you know pakistan so do you believe that perhaps is a genesis to the entire issue you're absolutely on the mark uh, dp ji i mean that is the uh, the genesis as i said you know in their flush sense of victory and coming to power now they are you know articulating their innermost uh, you know their their innermost innermost sentiments with regards to india couple of points i'll say we mentioned tourism you know they've set a target by the year 2028 to have 3.5 million tourists visiting maldives i think is around 2 million right now so whatever it be you know this incident i think and we can check up maybe by the year 2028 if all of us are around i think it'll be difficult for them to achieve that because whatsoever it may be some numbers of tourists from india will now start reducing it won't be you know like it won't drastically come down to half or something but i do think that uh, india's tourism numbers which are at about 700 or 1000 i think uh, uh, every year on an average they will grow but they will not grow as much as maldives would have wanted so they're going to hurt their economy unwittingly by what they've done irrespective of I mean, of course, our relations with Maldives will remain stable, balanced, and let's say mature leaders will talk and resolve, right? But this thing will leave a taste in the minds mm. of, I think, the people of India, and uh, we can definitely see. And you also mentioning some, you know, some okay. visits being cancelled. But overall, the trend will now be not growing as much as it would have been minus this controversy. Okay. All right so I just request you to please stay with us I also want to join to the conversation Anil Trigunia ji and thank you for your patience sir you've been holding the phone line how would you respond to what you see sir this is no doubt a diplomatic row between New Delhi and Male the very fact that the Indian High Commission sir you know reacted to such kind of disparaging language that was used by sitting ministers then you have the government there suspending these ministers you believe this damage control is good enough Well I think these are in the first place shameful comments uh, totally undiplomatic and immature mm. and uh, especially against Prime Minister Modi for whatever he was doing I mean the guy reacting to that and trying to do that does have its genesis in the very fact that this government has come on India out campaign if you know so this is not something that can be just absorbed like that the damage control itself is just a minor thing that they have tried to do but they'll have to it'll have to depend on exactly how the maldivian government now goes forward what are the kind of initiatives they take with regard to india with regard to china how do they balance their policies so there are so many other issues also but as far as this particular incident is concerned i think it has put uh they how low this can go these kind of uh, debates uh, by the ministers comments mm. by the ministers i mean they are not not somebody ordinary citizens these are people who are in responsible positions and if they are going to do like that then obviously they are going to hurting themselves because india follows a policy of neighborhood first mm. has tried to uh, done everything years do everything over the years to ensure the stability and security of uh, maldives and so they have to look at it exactly what is in their own favor what really benefits them the most not these kind of things that are going to really put them on the spot i doubt very much that their relations are going to be hunky dory mm. 
there will be india believes in the strong neighbors try to help and support them but at the end of the day it is their call now okay i think what you've said is pretty important you know because this should not just be the end of this uh, and unless and until sir i think there are also penal costs because you know w- when you talk of diplomatic niceties there are certain red lines that you always need to follow anil trigunia ji thank you so much sir for speaking to us and i also want to take a moment to speak about the other kind of reactions remember that have come in from those who've been in power in maldives now one such person is mohammad nasheed he's a former maldivian president remember also the speaker who's condemned these hate remarks by the present minister of maldives against india and the indian prime minister remember and he says this is shocking disrespect what appalling language by maldives government official towards the leader of a key ally that is instrumental he says for maldives security and prosperity then he says the mizu government must distance itself from these comments and also give a clear assurance of india that they do not reflect the government policy something that you have seen the maldivian government doing right now but is that good enough and uh, i think the jury is still out on that then there is another reaction that is another important one that has come in from abdullah shahid abdullah shahid remember is a maldivian former uh, foreign minister former unga president also He goes on to say derogatory remarks made by two deputy ministers of the current Maldivian government and a member of a political party in the ruling coalition towards Prime Minister Modi and the people of India on social media is reprehensible and odious. He says he calls on the government to reprimand these officials. Public figures must maintain decorum. They must accept that they no longer are social media activist and they are now entrusted with the responsibility of protecting the interest of the people and the country then he makes a very important point something that uh, both robinder sachdev and anil trigunia ji have underscored that india is a time tested friend and an unwavering ally they have historically been the first to respond in our time of need he goes on to say our close relationship has been bound by mutual respect history culture and strong people to people relations unquote i just want to take a moment to also draw back into the conversation robinder sachdev ji if possible uh, who's been speaking about the entire issue and uh, robinder ji one one would say that this could be a reflection or perhaps you know just testing the waters like people say to see how far would india go because you know ever since you've seen the new government or the regime change in male things haven't been the way they've ideally been you know the first visit of the new you know position power there was to turkey then there has been a dialogue with the indian prime minister but he did not visit new delhi per se and he's visiting china tomorrow exactly he is visiting china tomorrow so the timing is pretty you know uh, pretty important or mm. contextual to note and uh, also their <clears throat> sorry their vice president has already been to china as a first uh, overseas visit which he has undertaken so it could be testing of waters as you're saying by this new dispensation uh, but if we were to put it take a charitable view i could take the view that okay uh, i could ascribe it to once again newbie uh, ministers rookie ministers one would love to see what their background is if they've held any official positions earlier and in a sense of exuberance and as i think uh, you were reading the note from one of the opposition figures in maldives that there has to be a decorum uh, in what they say and it's one thing you know when you are campaigning in elections right you want to win the election so they were very strongly anti india and they said that they'll get india out whatever it be is one thing to be saying something on social media and all when you're running for an election but once you are in the seat of power you have to be much more responsible with what you say and such statements will definitely leave a, leave a bad taste uh, in the minds of the government and also by the way of the people of india see eh, there are two segments if we were to say so the policies of government of india how our government reacts obviously which will be with a lot of maturity and you know balance because diplomacy has uh, there is always a give and take and you take a much larger view but that will be the government of india right as well as the people of india because this is an issue which somehow has suddenly struck a 
accord with the people of India because Maldives is a tourism destination. Many celebrities go there, take their pictures and, you know, post them back on the Instagram and various social media handles. So it's, it's an issue or a topic which clearly resonates with the people of India and people of India would maybe vote if you were to say with their feet and not go to Maldives or not go in such high numbers. I mean, we could very well look at the numbers this year versus next year, what the numbers would be. And if we were to do analysis about a year later, I do think it will impact uh, the tourism economy somewhat, not much. I mean, of course, there are a large number of visitors and we are about 20% maybe or 30%, uh, but that would uh, impact Maldives. But also, it could be interesting to see what the reaction of the Maldives government has been. If we were to see, it has been, let's say, fine, okay. They've fired those ministers. So that's a pretty reasonable step, I would say, to some extent. Uh, so the tone of the relations between the two countries, I think, has been set at the very outset uh, of this new government and on the eve of their visit to China. Oh, yes. And nothing in politics, sir, happens in isolation. And... Uh, you know, the real way to decipher anything that is political is by connecting the dots. So, you know, if you just connect the dots, is there a larger message that Mali has been trying to test the waters to see how far can New Delhi go? And will it get the message or not? What happens in the next few days? We are tracking that story very, very closely. I thank you, uh, Robinder Sarshdevji, for your time, your perspective. Pleasure. Always a pleasure to have you on the show.